Fred here and welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode we'll be taking a look at the Halo Tracer Starter Kit. It's really nice to see that Halo is refreshing their hardware side of their business because it was kind of stale. I mean they always had new juices and uh, lately a, a lot of juices and a whole line of juices and they're all really really good always uh, very intense flavor great vapor production and made in a very safe lab and now with no diacetyl so really good safe great juice however their hardware they they just haven't refreshed it until now and they sent me two samples to review one is the reactor kit which I will not be reviewing today and the one that I will be reviewing today is the Tracer Starter Kit, which is for beginners. So if you're looking for something to move up to from a Sigalite or a Ego style or um, Halo's very own, um, what's their Ego style kit, the Triton, um, this is a logical progression or choice. This also would make a great mod or, or kit just for everyday kind of carry. It's not too large. It's great for keeping in the car. This is about the size and shape of a device that I would like to keep in my vehicle most of the time. So we'll go ahead and take a close look at this. This kit comes in your choice of either black or silver. Runs about $60 and I went ahead and provided a, a link in the description box below. Let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in the box. You get your tank and your battery. This is a permanently inside 2600 milliamp hour battery. 2600, that's a, a special number for those of you who are into hacking. If you could tell me, <laughs> what's the, the magic thing about 2600? Uh, I'll give you a couple of minutes and I'll, I'll tell you what that number's significant. Significance is just to keep your uh, attention on edge. So we have three boxes here. You have a wall charger, an accessory box, and a USB cable. And they're in there pretty good. And <laughs> let's take a look. I mean, obviously the wall charger, well, you know what? We should look and see what that wall charger looks like. I wanna make sure you know what you're getting. Here is your wall charger. Take a look at what the USB cable looks like. It's nice to see what the length of the cable is. Sometimes they throw in a really short one. This one looks like a nice long cable. Micro USB. On one side, USB for the wall charger side. And the accessory kit. Let's go ahead and just dump it right in here. Out, out, out. Whoops. <laughs> so let's see. We have an instruction manual in there. We have a glass big bore tip. It's actually um, a little bit bigger, not by much compared to the the metal one, the three o what was it three o four stainless steel that you find right here on the device itself. A little bit shorter, single gasket right there. I should zoom in just a little bit. There we go. And we have an extra coil. Wow, that's irritating, ain't it? <laughs> this is a 0.5 ohm coil. Let that focus there. You can see it says 0.5 ohms and 2240 watts. BTC, look at those big slits, those wide slits that are on the side there to suck up the juice. And you can see that it is a vertical coil. That's probably what the um, bottom caught something TC. I don't know. But it is a vertical coil. And that is organic cotton there. All right. Oh, they also give you an extra O ring. Go ahead and put that aside and take a look at the mod. Now, the first thing that I saw when I picked up this mod is that yes it is a rebrand of several things. The top here 
as you can see, looks amazingly similar to the Arctic tank. Here's an Arctic. And, you know, that's not really a bad thing because the Arctic tank is very highly rated, a very, very good tank. You can see how similar it is. So Halo went ahead and put their name on a very uh, respectable tank. It's very good. Now the battery is very similar to the Joytech Ego 1 Mega. Now I don't have a Ego 1 Mega. I have an Ego 1. And you can see that the buttons and, and things are kind of the same. The difference is the, the Mega has larger capacity. The the Joytech Ego 1 had 22 milli, uh, milliamp hours. The um, Mega, they stuck 2600, and that's what you have in here, 2600. Now, for those of you wondering what the big significance of the number 2600, that is the frequency of a dial tone. So early hackers would simulate that tone on pay phones so they wouldn't have to pay. <laughs> and a neat thing is that the cap... In the Captain Crunch serial, there was a whistle <clears throat> that actually um, the tone was exactly 2600, and you could blow that whistle into the phones, the pay phones of the time, and it would automatically just uh, drop to a dial tone where you didn't have to put a quarter in. Kind of a neat little hack from way back when. I'm, I'm showing my old age, telling you about old hacker stuff. But anyway, getting back to the subject, um, so 2600 milliamp hour battery. <clears throat> the tank itself has 3.5 milliliter capacity. You have 510 thread, 22 millimeter diameter, and a nice wide board drip tip right here. Also held on by a nice wide o ring, which gives it, you know, good firm steadiness doesn't rock or do anything weird just like the other arctic tank construction is all 304 stainless steel so good high quality and we're going to uh, test this out it does come apart fairly easy right there up oh, they did not have this screwed in very well did they um here's the other coil so you get two coils one that's already in there one that was in the accessory package. Let's take a look here. You just simply screw this in. Actually it's good that they kept it loose because we're going to prime this before we um, vape on it. You can see there's adjustable airflow right here. How many slots do we have? One, two, three, four slots that all open and close exactly the same as you turn your airflow ring. Now this, you might say, oh, look at that. How, how do you clean it? It actually comes apart. You just twist these two, and, wow, it's tight. You know what? Um, these are very hard to sometimes take apart. I actually have my Arctic here, so I could just, uh, I had this one recently apart because I was cleaning it, and you could see that they do unscrew, so you can take it apart and clean it. Your glass, probably Pyrex, comes off there. Oh, O-ring came off there. So you can see there's an O-ring sort of in there. There's an O-ring in there. And you have threads, threads, and it just screws together. So you can take this apart for cleaning, but it is kind of tough. I actually had a hard time getting this one opened up after vaping a long time on this tank. <laughs> it, it, sometimes they're, they're hard to get apart. So... Let's get back to here. So we'll go ahead and prime and fill this up here in a moment. The battery, you have airflow here. So if you do use something that has uh, airflow through the bottom, you're still covered with this battery. And it does not, you know, it's hard to tell if this is um, a spring loaded 510 pin, but we could. We could try. I can give this a whoops. Give this a push here. Uh, does not appear to be giving any, so it does not look like it's a spring-loaded 510 pin. But this is also 22 millimeters, obviously, because it fits this perfect. Now to charge it, you have a micro USB 
slot right there and to the left there's a little hole that you could probably barely see right there and that glows red while it's charging and the light goes out once it's charged on the bottom you have a hole for venting in case you have a um, battery issue which I would not expect that you would have because Halo always picks some of the greatest hardware out there and puts their name on it you know eh, it's okay as long as they choose good hardware which they did in this case so we're gonna go ahead and put some juice in here now one neat thing that Halo is doing right now is they still have their their New Year and and seasonal deals going on right now where you could get 20% off. And by the way, this kit comes with free 30 milliliters of juice. So that's pretty cool that right, you know, it is a, in fact a complete kit. It's not just the hardware, but it is the juice also. So Halo has provided me with um, a couple of juices to try out. So this one is Malibu. Malibu. And you can see that nice glass. I like that it's tinted. Everything is clearly marked. This is zero milligrams of nicotine. 30 milliliter bottle which is what you get with the um, device. And of course this is childproof so I'm going to have a problem opening this. On the back of the bottle Again, you have the volume, which is 30 milliliters in here, zero nicotine. You have a lot number, which is, this is something I really like, because if they were a recall for whatever reason, they could say, okay, this lot had some something wrong with it, and you can recall it. There's also a Best Buy date. So this says March 5th, 2017. Now, I've had this for a couple of weeks, so that'll give you an idea how long this lasts. So it's about a, a little over a year, a year and a half maybe, or something like that. You have all your ingredients clearly listed. So you have your um, PG listed here, and this is your VG. So it's a VG-PG blend. And you have your flavoring, and it's gross, you know, which is another word that, uh, you know, you can look up on their site. It meets certain standards, but again, also, it is dial, uh, diacetyl-free. So how do you load this up? We we'll go ahead and um, first we want to prime the head. So I'll we'll go ahead and shake this up. You could also let this seep or steep for a while, which it has for a couple of weeks for me here, which is always a good thing. It helps enf enhance and, and let the flavor develop. All right, so. We'll go ahead and put a couple of drops. This is going to be the longest review of a starter kit ever. But it's okay. Because if it's that good, then it's worth the time, right? Go ahead and get some in there. Go ahead and get some in the head itself. Now don't flood this thing. You're just trying to get the organic cotton wick moist. That's all you want to do. Wow, this smells good. It's smelling good. All right. That's fruity. Okay, so you just sort of take this guy and screw it in. Make sure you, you screw it up nice and firm. You don't want to have any leaks or anything. Plus, you don't want it to unscrew when you unscrew the tank, like you saw when I first took this off, but I suspect that they did that on purpose because they know you got to open it up. <laughs> All right, now to fill your tank, you see there's two slits on each side. One there and one there. You don't want to put it down the middle because that's where your air flow is coming back up. So you don't want to mix your juice with your air because then you get gurgle, gurgling, fun stuff like that. Alright, so you just slowly fill this up. Again, how much capacity? 3.5 milliliters. 3.5. Man, this smells delicious. It really does. Halo. It's been making juice a long time, from the very beginning here in the U.S. So they know what they're doing. And they're giving you some for free with this kit, which is pretty cool. Alright, I think we got enough in there. So we'll go ahead and close things up. Nice and secure. 
and then we'll go ahead and screw this on top of the battery nice smooth threads we'll do let this sit for a couple of minutes and we'll be right back so let's go ahead and try this out now here's the fire button and you could go ahead and sort of lock it by hitting it five times and there's a white light that'll blink four times when you lock it it's very hard to see it's kind of dim I'm gonna go ahead and hit it five to unlock it now one two three four five and you can see how that light there blinked white light and we'll go ahead and try this out now I have everything wide open as far as airflow for our first test and I'll do a mouth to lung I'm just a full lung hit not a mouth to lung a, a just straight up lung hit Wow, this uh, this juice is kind of a. There's a little bit of mint in here as well as fruit. It's a fruity mint flavoring. I'm not sure what it is on their website, but at least that's what I'm tasting. Definitely higher on the VG, obviously. Um, flavor again intense and uh, full just uh, like all halo juice just out of the park and the tank is letting me taste all that flavor with no problem and it's definitely producing the vape <laughs> the clouds so it's good for full lung hits let's see if I can go ahead and get the airflow down where I could do a mouth to lung hit You know the big bore drip tip and trying to get all four of these holes almost near closed. It, it's sort of doing it. But it doesn't give you that, that true um, cigarette style draw that we got in the Endura T18 by Anokin. This actually simulates a mouth to lung hit a lot better than this. So even though they're both beginner kits, and I just reviewed, and I got a contest, by the way, on the Endura T18s, um, they're two totally different animals. This has greater battery capacity, and I think it's more geared toward those full lung hits, even though you can eke out a, a mouth to lung hit by trying to close these all the way down, but I don't think the tank is really... Um, designed to excel in that. It's more of a full lung kind of tank. You know, it just it just prefers to be to me, my opinion. This is my opinion by the way. And it's definitely keeping up, and it, it's great. Now, um, cons, build quality, um, vapor production, flavor, all of it, it excels in. The only thing that I worry about with this is that it's an Arctic tank. And for my, Ar my Arctic tank, I never had a, a dripping or leak issue except, except if I had laid it down for a long period of time on its side and then picked it up then I had a little bit of juice ooze out of it so just sort of keep that in mind now I'm not saying that this is exactly the same as the Arctic but it appears to be the same as the Arctic tank to me and just rebranded there could be some differences I know that the um, watt recommendations on the Arctic's coil is different than the one that came with the halo so there could be a difference right there that so I don't want to say it's exactly the same and you're going to experience that same thing. But I'd say it's likely.
So it sort of feels like a mech mod. You know, you just press the button, it works, except it's regulated, you know, so you, it's, and it produces, uh, it, it's great. And I, I really do highly recommend this. So if you're someone who is moving up from the Sigalite, the Triton, the Ego style, or if you want to, um, start off right off the bat with this and and not deal with the sort of lackluster experience that you get with the ego and the single light type this is perfect this is a perfect kit for you especially if you like the big lung hits then i would choose this over the enokin endura t18 because <clears throat> this tank definitely lends itself to that full lung hit and big cloud production all right, so again, the link is provided below for your convenience. Run 60 bucks, you can get it in silver and black. Thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.